Hello and welcome to more gaming fans. I'm your host, Joe's Moore here, and we got week four of the Tartriot season, and we are facing off against the New Orleans Apes. All right, here we go. We got Melvin, Coach Melvin here, Mr. Manny himself. Going to be a very difficult opponent, but hopefully we can get the win. Um, We're going to go ahead and lead our new teammate, uh, Naganadel, hopefully. No, actually, no. I thought I had Psychic on. We're going to lead Aquafista here. Get up some rocks. Uh. 1v1 that Nido Queen. Hopefully that's what it leads. We don't have defog this week, so we're gonna have to uh, use Naganadel to get any spikes off the field, because that's really the only thing we're worried about. I mean, Bell can also do it. So we'll just have to see how the battle goes. But we're gonna go ahead and start off with Aquafista, and good luck, have fun, Melvin. We always have really great battles. This season has not been going well for me. We're currently 1-2. and two, But hopefully we can turn it around here with a win and get back to 500. At least that's always the goal. Alright, here we go. What does he lead here with? He leads Nido Queen, so we predicted that correctly. i will probably just go for the Stealth Rock, so we're just going to hit Earthquake. We don't really need rocks as much right immediate right away. Actually, you know what? I, we'll trade rocks. Hopefully this is an offensive variant. Doesn't have it. Okay, cool. So Mandibuzz is coming in instead. We're going to go ahead and get our rocks up for free. And let's see what I can do to this thing now. Alright, so we got Ice Punch. But I'm just going to go ahead and flip turn on this thing. Alright, pretty speedy. Goes for the knockoff there. And now we're going to go ahead and, you know what, we're actually going to switch into, let's just go straight into Chowder. We might be pulling this trigger a little too early, but I'm wanting to play very aggressive this week. We need a win. And this is how I feel we're going to get it. So let's go ahead and belly drum right away. He'll probably, If he goes foul play, he'll probably knock us out. But let's hope that's not the case. All right. Goes for the toxic. That's fine. And we avoid it. So we get that off for free. So that's good news for us. Um, now we're just going to go ahead and play rough. We're plus six. Don't really need to um, to predict here. We're unburdened boosted. We're faster than everything. Play rough comes off. Plus six to a Cinescorch. That is great. Maybe he was trying to get the flame body off. But we're just going to click beside here to make sure we get the kill. And that's fine. Now we're burned. We're just going to facade everything. And that's why I brought facade. I knew burn was a thing. And it's better than toxic, actually. <clears throat> better for us, anyway. But now we can't max because uh, Facade won't have the same effect Dynamaxed. So he could Dynamax here and potentially waste our live a hit. 
but I highly doubt it. Okay, he didn't choose to Dynamax, and Facade's going to take the Needle Queen down, so that's two kills down. Slurp off putting in work. First time I've been able to actually make Belly Drum at least get a kill. <laughs> so, yeah, this is feeling good right now. Alright, so he has a Bomb of Snow. He might go Ice Shard here just to get some damage. Certainly get Snow Warning off. But we should, we should live it, no problem, the eye shard. <clears throat> so Facade is just going to probably sweep his team, hopefully. We, sh we are able to outspeed a plus one Salamance as well. So I did prepare for that. Okay, so Mian Shao is in, and uh, luckily we were able to get the rocks off, so nothing's going to live on a Focus Sash. Okay, so he gets the fake out damage, which is fine. He's chipping away at our health, but uh, he can't, <laughs> he ain't going to live a hit here. So we're just going to go ahead and facade. And down goes Mian Chao. Slurpuff is wrecking it. Alright, what does he decide to go to here? Manda Bud. Alright. Manda Buzz gets taken down by that Stealth Rocks, and we're going to go ahead and go for the side. Judging from the damage, if we knock out Mandibuzz, we should be able to live the secondary damages from Hell and Burn. And hopefully get the kill on Salamance. Oh yeah! Come on, let's get this 6-0 with Slurp Buff. If it's Intimidate, it's fine. We're still plus 5. And I just got excited right there. Oh, yeah. No Intimidate. Going to take up a side. He's going to Dynamax. But we should still be able to kill. Woo. He's probably going to go for the Max Guard, if anything. Because that would ensure the kill on uh, Slurpa. Yeah, all right. That's a smart play on his part. So no 6-0 for Slurpa. Sad to say, but he did put in work. Now Salamance has to 5-0 our team. Which, you know, is still possible. But we're going to make sure it's not. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. Go straight to Flick here. And we're going to go ahead and max rock ball. So here we go. Uh, we should be fast. I, I think I made it jolly. Oh no, Salamance is faster. Alright. But we should be able to lift the Max Quake. Oh yeah, beautifully. I was really scared if he had like Max Flare or something. Because we would not lift that at all. But uh, Durant should be able to get this kill here. And that will be GG's to Melvin. GG. Well, certainly a quicker battle than I thought it would be. Luckily we got... Uh, Luckily, he didn't go for the foul play, and we actually got to sweep a little bit with Slurpa. So, hey, we're back to 2-2, two and two, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, go watch Melvin's side, and we'll see you guys next time.